Hi guys, this is KYB, Grow Your Bicycle. And today we have made a big 700, an entry level cross country mountain hardtail bike. And Daniel, our technical expert, will take care of it from all the possible angles. Hello everyone, so as Akha said, the Merida Big 7 100. Now, the first thing that we have to discuss right now is the, the geometry on this bike. It is This cycle is marketed as an entry level cross country bike. Cross country bikes are generally very high end. Merida is giving you the same geometry, the same sort of feel at this price. It isn't cheap. But we will tell you why this bike deserves that. Let's start off with this seat. So, I like this seat for the fact that I am not a thin guy, as you can clearly see. This seat gave me the confidence to sit in the middle, move up front, move towards the back. I could manipulate myself. And Akash would probably say the same thing because of the high movement. This seat has a lot room. Exactly. Go fast. Exactly. The, this seat takes huge efficiency because, for example, me, a, a, a guy with big thighs, I cannot ride a seat even bigger than this. This for me was perfect. I could not say any, say anything more about that. It was perfect. So one more thing that really surprised us was the frame. We didn't really look into it as much. Akash and I both did our research and we saw the forming of the of, 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 saw the forming of these frames. They are formed through something called techno forming system. Exactly. Techno forming system. Now, with the word itself, you will hear techno, so that means something to do with te technology, not fighting. Forming. The forming of these of these frames through technology. Now, what that gives you is it gives you a machine that has a shape. It has a shape here, and you have your metal. It pushes the metal down and it forms it. It gives it that shape. Which means you have consistency in your materials. You have the quality in that. And here it is. Every well on this bike is nearly perfect. Nearly perfect. Beautifully, beautifully designed frame. And the headquarters of R and D they do is in Germany. So you can see what the German engineering comes out, right? Exactly. And the welding on this is even. There, is, there are no uneven bumps on, on the welding. There's nothing that will say, okay, that's crap. So, it's really well done. And I must admit, I'm actually praising the cycle a lot because it surprised me. It did work. It surprised me and him. We've ridden a lot of cycles in our time. For a mountain bike to surprise us this much means that it has something. Um, another thing that I'm, that I'm going to really specify on are uh, the brakes and the, and the gears because we have Shimano mineral oil brakes and these brakes were probably like efficient like the moment you press the brake you knew not you sorry I knew that I would stop because it was responsive with the fact that I could tell exactly how much and I think you were right about the fact because while coming back I kind of knew, I was feathering the brakes to figure out how responsive they are if I do it frequently. And to be very honest, Dan, I was extremely surprised. Amazing. Shimano has done an amazing job with the brakes out there. Hydraulic brakes, beautifully done. Exactly, they've chosen the right amount, the model. I'm, I'm not exactly sure of which model this is. I think it's the M9000. The M9000. Now that is a very efficient model in itself because you've got a larger rotor in the front and a slightly smaller rotor in the back. Now what that donates is for a 180mm in the front. Generally, nobody presses their front brake on their own. And if you do, you are doing something a little wrong because you need to use both your brakes. Having 180 in the front and 160 in the back means that you can really push your brakes. You can push your push your stopping a lot more. And you can really, really press on, press on those brakes and it will really help you. So here we have the brakes. Now the brakes are situated in such a place that even if you fall, you are not going to get injured or anything like that. It's situated between the frames. So you are safe, your brakes are safe. That saves you nearly 5,000 bucks and that's a lot. Most cycles will have it towards the top where America has taken the time and the thought 
Now we shift to the rear deal here. That is Alivio. Now, again, Alivio and Altis. Alivio is your. I'm not sure where it is coming from. So it's a Harad TCC, like the entry level Shimano Chandra Vendor. Then you go ahead and Alivio. So Alivio is actually, you will definitely find the high end bike. And I'm surprised. Melda is actually giving a Alivio gel. It is very, very responsive and uh, soundless, and you will you will have that have that feel to it when you kind of shift gear. Exactly, the cadence remains the same. Exactly, you will have that uh, the efficiency of shifting, as you said. You will have efficiency of movement. You know that when you are shifting, you shift these these, these shifters here. That you know what I mean. We see anything because it will go straight into that, and straight into here means faster you. So, cross country don't need efficiency because if you're wasting speed and wasting energy, you're not riding cross country. You're just tiring yourself. And nine speed cassette, oh, you are gonna get very fast. Nine speed cassette on Olympia derailers with with voltage shifters. Now, you have that much of a range with efficiency, and guys who ride cycles much longer than I have would know. That if your bike is not tuned and if it gets out of tune fast and it's not efficient, you don't feel like riding. So this does not this does not give you that feeling. It is a very sound system and it is perfect for what this bike is meant to do. Let's move on to the cockpit now. I I love the cockpit on this bike because number one, you got a 680 mm handlebar, which has a, the perfect amount of rise and the perfect amount of back angle on it, which means that it's coming up and it's coming slightly towards the back. This means that you have the width, but you have a slightly upright position in case you get up, get up out of your seat and pedal fast. And Akash will definitely say the same thing because he rode it from, I think, uh, Noida to Patpur and and this guy was dreaming and he was smiling. Because the best part about the handlebar is actually the better the handlebar, wider the handlebar, the more control you have on the bike. And with a frame like such, I was literally floating on the road. Exactly. The handlebar situation is, I think, anything above 680 to 700 is your big size. Right now in Delhi, when you baby really ride, anything lower and you get the best of both worlds there. So 680 is right there. What really surprised us was the brake, the brake reservoir and the, the and the brake lever on this bike because you got a slightly a, a slightly longer longer lever, which means that you can push your brake in slightly more and give yourself a single finger finger brake, which is really really good and it feels really really nice on this bike. Because it's been tuned so well, the brakes are tuned so well to this bike. And Akash will definitely feel that right now. Because it makes a difference. It really makes a difference when your fingers are free and actually gripping the handlebar and just spreading really the brakes. It feels nice as well. And it's now finger free and touching. Exactly. You can have that disability always. Exactly. With this double piece construction, you can adjust it to however you feel right. And that's the most important thing. Bikes that come under the cross country or downhill or en enduro name are very personal bikes. You may find the same model with somebody else, I might share the same model with Akash, but if he likes my bike, he said, brakes are your, I don't like it like that. Because that's my style. And he will have, and I will feel the same thing on his bike. So personalization really makes a difference here. Another thing that we say is internal cabling. Now, what that does is, you want, your, uh, you want your wires that are on the outside. Most cycles will have wires that go along the frame and then through the, through the shape of the frame. That would lead to certain endeavors that might not work. Internal cabling gives you two things. One, it forces the company to give you, generally give you lifetime warranty, which they are, by the way. And and protects them from the dust and the, the mud and the rain and the slushy thing because obviously you will definitely have a long life of the wires. Exactly. Jag wires are known for their consistency and there are there are jag wires. But this is used one for, for aero, aerodynamics and 
keep your keep your wires safe. And so you don't have too many wires in the front. It's all through the frame. So you can't really see too much of it. So now we're going to shift the suspension and the wheel set. This is something that Merida I think have really taken time with because they really got a beautiful combination with their Maxxis Econ Econ tires and yeah, Expedition Grey tires. Exactly, Expedition Grey. Now that automatically shows you that they are serious about you using this bike for cross country. Because nobody else would put Maxxis Econ tires for, for the fun of it. Because Maxxis Econ, the gripping is very very strong, but on the roads, or even on slight, uh, on slight material like this, this sort of sandy material, it still keeps its, its friction. But it's not going to wear you down this friction. It's, the grippiness is not going to wear you down. It's going to make you go fast. It's fast rolling tires. And on a tarmac road, you will definitely hear that noise of every pedal that comes out. Exactly. And that is a it's not, uh, it's not an irritating sound, it's a very beautiful sound, right? Because it feels like you're actually doing something with this and that's the best feeling you can ever get. So 27.5, back to that. Akash, do you want to say, say, do you want to say something about that? 27.5, oh my god, best of both the worlds. Exactly. 26 inches have the agility, they have the freaking movement. Whereas 29ers are unknown to rumble over obstacles. They will continuously move over obstacles till you press the brakes. They are known for consistent fast rolling. 29 is known for running over things. Exactly. 27.5 on, on the other hand takes the best option for both of them. It takes the agility from the 26er and it takes the fast rolling, lumbering over obstacle feel from the 29er and combines it into something like this. So you've got that package, you've got the fast rolling package and for 20, for a cross country bike, that is what we need. And this is what they what they need. The front crankset and the headset are two of my favorite parts. Because here you've got an SR Santo crankset. It's not your highest level crankset ever, but it's efficient, it works with the system. Why change something that does that works very well? So it works very well and they kept it good going better for that. The FSA headset, the reason I didn't talk about this with the cockpit is because I sort of combine it with the frame. And the FSA headset is it's a, it, I honestly feel that this is the easiest way that I can get it. If someone's taken butter and dripped it into that and that's the only thing that we're actually like. <laughs> I can't say it anywhere else. Because it's it's and that can only come from a foodie. <laughs> yeah, foodie. It's smooth and it makes a difference. It makes a difference when you have to show. So, to sum it all up, we have the entry level cross country mountain bike from Merida, Big 700. For people who love to roll down the mountains, to enjoy the downhill, to take the easy climb. Yeah, I am definitely gonna take it to the door of North East this time. Can I? Can I come too? For sure. I don't have enough space at the back though. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> so like, share, subscribe, and do follow, and we'll definitely cover the best of the best of the bikes for you guys to take to make the right choice. Adios. <laughs>